Sometimes fact can be just as compelling as fiction, or seem at times even stranger than. So it should come as no surprise that many video games narratives have been inspired by actual events, weaving them into their entire premise. From war to unsolved crimes to important moments in history, these games have incorporated real life stories, all of which have piqued our interest for years, and will likely continue to do so for generations to come. So today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 video games that were inspired by real events. Let's jump in. And at number 10 is JFK Reloaded. Considered a historical simulation game, JFK Reloaded has a simple premise to recreate the John F. Kennedy assassination. You play as Lee Harvey Oswald, who has to shoot JFK, and you're scored based off of how closely your assassination matches up to the report of the Warren Commission. The first shot missed, second hit JFK and Governor Connolly, and third struck JFK in the head. Despite seeming initially insensitive, the developers, Traffic Software, have stated that their intentions were, I quote, to establish the most likely facts of what happened on 1960. November 22nd by running the world's first mass participation forensic construction. Up next, number nine is Six Days in Fallelujah. Likely the game to receive the most controversy on our list, Six Days in Fallelujah was cancelled when Konami announced in 2009 that they would no longer be publishing the game due to the stir it had caused. So why all the drama? Well, the game is based on the Second Battle of Fallelujah, which spanned over six days in November 2004. Atomic Games worked with some U.S. Marines from the 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines, to create the most realistic military shooter possible, featuring a events that happened during those six days. The controversy was over a few things though, how recent the events in the game had occurred, and that many war veterans, especially in Britain, felt that the game glorified the Iraq war, and that battle in particular, which has been noted by some to be the bloodiest battle of the entire war itself. Up next, number 8 is Sherlock Holmes vs Jack the Ripper. Fiction colliding with fact, this Sherlock Holmes game inserts the world's greatest detective, who doesn't wear a bad suit, within the real events surrounding the Jack the Ripper crimes. Taking place in 1888 in the London district of Whitechapel, players are in the shoes of Sherlock Holmes and Watson as they track Jack the Ripper's murders. The game received generally negative reviews, primarily for how clues were acquired, and that to players it felt as if they were completing chores for the police since the game makes you complete errands for them in order to obtain those clues. Fun. Up next number 7 is Call of Duty World War 2. The newest game on our list, Call of Duty World War 2 is set during the events that happened in World War 2 putting you in the middle of the action. Its boots on the ground approach also diverts heavily from the mechanics of Call of Duty games in the past, with more emphasis on running and leaping for cover, aiming to be more organic to the kinds of warfare that occurred during that time. The game takes players through famous battles such as the invasion of Normandy, the liberation of Paris, and the Battle of the Bulge. Up next number 6 is Velvet Assassin. Velvet Assassin is a game where you play British spy Violet Summer, who infiltrates the Germans in World War II working within the Nazi regime in order to undermine them. The game is loosely based on the life of an actual saboteur named Violet Sosbo, who in reality was captured by the Germans, tortured and eventually sent to the Ravensbrück concentration camp where she inevitably died. Despite being set on a very interesting and heart wrenching premise, the game itself had problems with executing that premise, with critics panning it for its lack of a structured narrative. Up next to number 5 is 1979 Revolution Black Friday. Set during the Iranian Revolution, 1979 is a game in which you play an aspiring photojournalist, taking pictures of the events that go down during the revolution. Each photo presents you with a historical background, and even the occasional personal account from people who lived through the war. Many critics felt that the more action packed scenes in the game felt a little melodramatic, or were just unable to capture the authenticity of the events that actually happened. Moving on to our number 4 spot, we have Assassin's Creed 3. The entire Assassin's Creed franchise is filled with historical references, so much so that the cities featured in the games are accurately constructed based on historical architectural evidence. But it's fair to say that out of all the Assassin's Creed games, the third has the most to offer in terms terms of replicating real life events that players get tangled up in or witness. These include the Boston Tea Party, the Boston Massacre, Paul Revere's ride and the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Up next number 3 is Kolot. An indie horror survival game, Kolot is based on the Datlov Pass incident, in which 9 Russian students mysteriously died on a ski trip. In real life, when the weather conditions worsened, the group's leader Igor Datlov decided that they set up camp. Flash forward, several days later their camp was found, abandoned and badly damaged, with the group's belongings and shoes left behind. The tent had been cut open from the inside out, and there were footprints leading away from the campsite, with the skiers' bodies found in the nearby distance, all scattered away from one another. Some had strange injuries too, like missing their tongue, eyes, and lips. In the game, you retrace their steps in an attempt to solve the mystery, and it's narrated by Sean Bean. Up next, number two is LA Noir. Many of the cases that you, as Cole Phelps, must solve in LA Noir are based off of real headlines that appeared back in the 1940s and 1950s. The game is quite thorough in its simulation of Los Angeles during that time, with actual city planning documents 
documents and photos integrated within the game. But the most memorable crime that Cole encounters unravels the Black Dahlia case, starting with the murder of a woman who was stomped to death, Janine French, who had the initials BD written on her chest. This led to the belief that there was some sort of connection between her murder and the murder of the Black Dahlia. Elizabeth Short. And finally, in a number one, Valiant Hearts The Great War. Focusing on World War One, Valiant Hearts tells the stories of four different heroes. A Frenchman named Emile, his German son-in-law Carl, an American soldier who joins the war early named Freddy, and a Belgian nurse by the name of Anna. Weaving throughout each of these narratives, all primarily based on real accounts, the game introduces historical collectibles that contain information, photos, and accounts for players to read. And the battles are crafted after the actual conflicts that occurred during the war. Perhaps one of the strongest portrayals of the tragedy of war and humanity's will to survive Valiant Hearts left many players in tears by its heart wrenching conclusion. There we have it, guys. Have you played any of the games on this list? Let us know in those comments below. And if you'd like more games that were inspired by real events, give us a shout about that too, and hey, maybe we'll do a part two. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys hit those like and subscribe buttons on your way out, and I will catch you all in the next one.